Cause hood niggas don't do podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can name you a couple. Yeah, I'm nah, saying nah, there's nah, a nah. lot of hood dudes nah, doing nah, podcasts now. I mean, not making money too. If anything, we're late right, to the party. Right, you're right. I, I just the hood niggas I know they do other hood things. Well, those, those <laughs> ones that you know, that's, <laughs> that's the ones still yeah. hugging the block. Yeah, those are the ones still hugging the block. Yeah, but the ones that are already out here, shout out to y'all because y'all doing y'all thing. Nah, but, nah, yeah. The hood is always doing amazing things. But we shout right, out to the hood. Now. I'm we, just talking shit. When we right in the party with y'all, we soon gonna be on that VIP list. There it is. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. And on that made song right there. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm only cracking cans hard. No homo. Hey, <laughs> what? I'm only cracking cans hard. Yeah, you know I'm cracking it open. Like, yeah. yo, that's what you want to do. Yeah, my bad. My it's bad. All right, it's alright. It's alright. It's okay. Right. Right. I said no homo afterwards because the sentence did come out a little od pause, but it's set already. It's done. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, this is episode eighty nine. We are almost there, ladies 89. and gentlemen. Yep, we're almost Yo, at the big one. Let me tell you something. No, my bad. One zero. No, no. What's, what's, let me tell you something about eighty nine. Let me tell you something about this okay. this number of that we've accomplished here. Okay. So, um, I went to an event. We'll get into the event later. But I went to an event this weekend, and um, one of the things that happened at the event was that. You know, people were introducing me to other people. Like, oh, this is Nerds in the Hood. This is Ann McGee. Da, 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 da. He's mad cool. Oh, shit. You got a podcast? What episode you at? 89. Niggas is like, 89? How long you been doing this shit? Oh, one year. It's like, yo, that's crazy, bro. I know niggas three years. They only got 25 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, that's the truth, though. A lot of people are saying, I was like, like yo, I'm like, yo, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. They're like, yo, so how often? They, yo, yo, people really ask me, like, how often do you record? I'm like, every week. They're like, so you edit video every week? Like, yo, yeah. this, this podcast content is, is tough, bro. We got 89, 89 episodes, yo. That's, so, that's Every week. If they're an hour and a half, how do you even do that math? <laughs> yeah. Every week, that's a lot of yeah, that's a lot of binging. I'm so. spending too much time with y'all, motherfuckers. Yeah. Don't, make me I, add only, that, don't make me add that shit up. Only Monday. Like, no, only Monday. You only Monday. Monday. Only Monday. Monday and Wednesday. Yeah, but Monday and Wednesday. Well, we now Wednesday. Wednesday. Now Wednesday. What do you think about it? Every Wednesday. Don't worry, bro. Live. So, you, you, compl- you complain now. Seat. You complain now, but then all this time will equivalent to. A hundred million dollar paycheck, and you're gonna be like, so you know that, what? I didn't spend enough time with y'all. That's what I'm not gonna that's complain. What yeah, I know. That's what I, was, that's what compl- I, said, I like, said you're complaining right. now until that. Yeah, I'm complaining now because so I don't see how they feel. I don't see how they end. All right, so they're bad. So bad. You want to <laughs> yeah, we got to bounce. Stop, stop yeah. egging them on. Yep. 80, you, 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 you didn't even finish the episode. You tell them to get out. Hour and a half is what? 90 minutes? This guy. Hour and a half would be 90 minutes. Take away all your cast. Yeah, basically. It's crazy. That's all he wants. He wants a two-man show. And then he's going to keep you up and start recording his stuff. Yeah, you Yo, and then nerd, he's gonna be like, "Yo, I'm just collabing with my other men." Uh, nerds in the dude. hood and McGee brand comes yeah, soon. Boy, it, McGee, yeah. 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 <laughs> better they go on about to go. Yo, you know, that's yo y'all better stick with it. Y'all, y'all better watch not drop out. All right, Matt. We already so lost one. What are you trying to do? You got to calculate it right. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the for y'all. Bring it up every week. Yo, it's gonna go. It's gonna take a while for me to get over. It's a hard loss for me in my heart. But anyway, it's all it's all. But thirty minutes. Hour and a half is is ninety minutes, right? Hour and a half is ninety minutes. Yeah, yeah. Eighty nine times ninety is eight thousand and ten. We spent eight thousand and ten minutes around each other. That's too much, my nigga. That's too We've much. We've spent nah. definitely way more minutes than that before I even <laughs> thought of this show. I know, <laughs> so it's fine. I know, bro. I've known you guys for years. Yeah, <laughs> so like you all, the, like this. all them hood, you all them record years ago. All them hood moments of two K. In the hot yeah, ass room, all and, types of video games we played. For yeah. hours. Watching basketball games, listening to music in the car, all types of stuff. I ain't gonna lie to you. Four hours our quality, our quality of podcast would have been way better if we were smart enough to plug in a phone up after all those two K games. <laughs> That's true. I'm we would have been famous yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. We, we could have been the niggas playing two K well, in the living well, room. Well, if you think about it like that, if there was Twitch back then, a lot of us would have been yeah. big time mm-hmm. streamers or, or a good amount of us. I, I mean, Twitch was back then. Twitch yeah. was. Because remember, we, when we were all like younger and we were kids, 
we, we, was, we was better on the sticks. We was more attentive. We was more like, ah, 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 more agile. Now we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dojo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the dojo days, the dojo. days like, well, you know, all that stuff. You not good on the sticks no more? You gave up those I, days? I, I mean, games, yeah. Yeah. Man, I so I'm probably yeah, yeah, certain trash. games, we don't got it no more. I'll be watching the I can say there was a time when me and Dev would be like, damn, this is to the wire. This is a good game. But now it's like, oh, this is going to go back and forth, back and forth. Now it's like, oh, hit a three, bang, nigga. Go back, hit a three, bang. Yeah. Tied up, tied up. I'm sorry to hear One that. of us could lose and be like, you don't run it back? Actually, uh, Nick's no, minus seven. <laughs> so anyway, um, the good the good thing is we do have 89 episodes. We have enough episodes that if we wanted to, we could break it into seasons. And and you could binge our whole show nah, if we man. wanted to. But we didn't do that. Because speaking of seasons, though, we know somebody else that pretty much kind of did that. If you look at it that way, this would technically be like a ninth season for them. But anyway... We want to talk about one of the biggest season finales that's happened in a little while, and that was Game of Thrones House of the Dragon. You know, it's really not called Game of Thrones, it's just called House of the Dragon. Yeah, word. So I don't know why you no. say Game of it's Thrones. Really just, it's really just House of the Dragon. It's not even just you. I'm not I get it. I get There's it. a bunch of people that be coming. That be coming like, I said that to someone. I was like, yo, you watch that new Game of Thrones? You mean, like, they say House of the Dragon? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because you're you're right. Right. if you come up to me and ask me about Game of Thrones, I'm be like, Game of Thrones been ended. That's fine. What are you talking about? House of Dragons, that new show that has to do with 4,000 years before? Like, it's 200. <laughs> it's 200. Yeah. I get you. Yeah, you know, it's not that far, but you know. Oh, uh, anyway, yes, okay. Uh, I apologize for all you uh, got heads out there. So we'll call you got heads. Niggas old. You know how it's pot heads? That's not heads. Nah, that's not it. You guys, that's not it. That's what I was about to say. In the hood, you don't want to say the word got, because that means you you took the loss. Oh, we all got with that. Yeah, y'all got got. Got 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 us. And I sat with you and watched you. I know they got got. This episode of Game of Thrones. Oh, I know it got got. I know we got got, but the fact that you're you calling Game of Thrones niggas Team Got. Well, I didn't call them that. I just said got heads because Game of Thrones GOT. So they got got. You're right. We all did. Well, no, because definitely. Now, you know why? Not me, because I, I, I disbanded from that whole shit after the last episode. <laughs> stupid. Well. Y'all niggas got I, got. I, I all y'all niggas beasting for the House of Dragons. I will say, as a person who didn't watch Game of Thrones actively, as you two gentlemen, um, to watch House of the Dragons. So religiously, that House of Dragons is shit to me. No, it's, it's. I know it's, it's a good actually show. Good. Yeah. I know. Bro, we're I, on episode two. Shots. Exactly, <laughs> but I just can't. I still can't get over the Game of Thrones throw up. Like, All right, but don't. That has nothing to do with that. Yeah. It's two <laughs> different <laughs> shits, bro. The two different. Yeah, shows. you got it. You got it. I'm sorry. Throw, you throw, your, your, throw your brain out. Yeah. Throw it's your like, brain out. Has nothing to do with that no more. It's like asking me to, to talk about a dead family member. I don't want to talk about it. What? Dev, do you feel Game of Thrones is dead? Do you feel that? Do you feel that this show? Would allow you to forgive Game of Thrones, or do you feel like this show helps you just move on? Or is it a whole new show, and it's not Game of no, Thrones? No, because my feelings towards Game of Thrones are still the same. It's the probably top five shows to ever touch down on, on TV. Um, it's just I, I legit, I just see it as I take away those last three, three to four episodes of the season eight because those first three season, the first three episodes of of the last season were amazing. Mm-hmm. Up and legit, I stopped. I consider the show over once they defeat the um, the, the Night King. Boom. Once they do that, my bitch Arya came through with the. She did her little move, got the dagger, Doom King, sliced this thing. And like, I was like, oh, you can end the show right now, and I'm content. But I have everything after that, I don't really. I'm like, eh, it's whatever. But as a show and all, it's still one of my favorites. Um, so I was. So when I saw House of the Dragon coming out, I definitely. I was. I'm locked in because. I felt like they in Game of Thrones, they didn't really do justice to the you know the House of the Dragon, the, to the Targaryens, and that's what I wanted to see. Even though there was there's other things that they want to see them play out in Game of Thrones, but definitely House uh, the Targaryens is what definitely what I wanted to see. And honestly, the way they did it, um, honestly, fire. They did their little time skips. How they you know to push the story along, which I like because you, you got to think about it. They're trying to like cover a lot of ground. Um, but honestly, I feel like the show, I don't think it's better than, you know, Game of Thrones, but again, it's only season one, but, um, where they're going, I like it, cause there's about to be a battle, a battle, and I liked the last episode, I didn't really like how it ended, I mean, I liked how it ended, but the cliffhanger was like, so, but I guess that's, that's what a cliffhanger is supposed to be, it's supposed to be like, oh, I want more, but, <laughs> and it's like, but that last scene, I mean, if you want to talk about it, the last scene was type crazy, you know, 
we had a big death, and this is what's going to lead to... Big lead death? To... What big death? <laughs> Do you really want to spoil it? Spoil yeah, it it's you? okay, bro. You don't spoil shows by telling me the end, bro. You know. Nah, I guess if so. If that's what he wants. If that's what you want, this is spoiler. Uh, I want to so know who died. Spoiler. Who died? Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Uh, yeah, so we get into it. So they named, right before this last episode, they named um, this um, the High Tower, what's it, Allison. They named her son, King Aegon. Yeah. They named him King. Coup. In a coup. It's, it is a coup. Um, pretty much trying to just oust. They don't want nothing to do with Rhaenyra and Damon. They're like, no, we're going to put my son on the throne. And they did shit mad, hush, hush. So I just couldn't wait until this shit got back to Rhaenyra. So episode last episode comes around. Um, I forget homegirl's name that I want to go tell him the message. Do we remember? Oh, the old lady. Rhaenyra. I think it's Rhaenyra's. Well, what you the mean? old lady on the dragon. Oh, the other princess. The other princess. Oh, I think okay. it's Rhaenyra, I believe. I oh, could be wrong. Yeah. She could not be. Anyway, old. she goes back and she tells him what's happening. <laughs> she scoops the dragon. What I thought initially was happening, I'm like, oh, she's about to, Rhaenyra's about to hop on her dragons and they're about to go over there and tear this whole bitch up. Which, in surprising fashion, how they switch it, they switch it up and normally how how they used to t- show how what a Targaryen. Yeah, you're right. Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra's. Rhaenyra's. Rhaenyra's, 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 Rhaenyra's,
I was like, oh, they wildin'. So he's basically fucking with Oh, they wildin'. So he's basically fucking with him. He wants her to know, like, yo, I can pretty much fuck with you because I have the bigger dragon than your dragon, such and such. Yeah. So while they're doing a little base of maneuvers, the dude with the big dragon, Amon, he loses him for a little quick minute, and then homeboy comes out, and his dragon does a little quick fire breath at him. Pow! Hits yep. him in the face. Come on. So that pissed the dragon off, not yeah, the dude. Yeah. Yeah. So he went full charge. So him. when he got hit, when the dragon got hit by the other little dragon, that man was pissed. He was like, yeah. "You little bitch ass, little reptile ain't gonna know. ain't gonna hit me." Yep. So out of nowhere, he's going after him. And so the dude is trying to reel in his dragon. He's like, yeah. "Yo, no, listen to me, listen to me." Like, nah, so yeah, he's yeah. like, "Nah, fuck out of here." So they the dude gets away, and he thought he thought he was in the clear. Then out of nowhere, this big ass dragon comes from the cloud and eats both of them niggas. So eats the dragon and the kid. Oh, mercs this girl, mercs this girl's son and dragon, and you just seen like chop, 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 chop. Seen like ate them, ate them, mm-hmm. nigga, ate them. Like that was a snap for him, legit, because that's how bad it was. Yep, mm-hmm. that like that's how small this that's dude cool. was. And then, they, and then her husband, aka her uncle, ends up coming up and telling her that yo. Your son got smoked. But you see, that was my problem with that episode. I wanted that interaction. I wanted that her to go. I wanted him to go to her, and I wanted to see a reaction of her, her being told that yo, her son just got burnt. And I wanted to see like a little quick, like oh, I want to burn him. Oh, we're gonna get. I wanted to. So, I want some type of dialogue there, just to not a you know a music scene drowned out sound, and you don't hear nothing. You just gotta see her like. Pissed off, which is cool, but I wanted a, a little dialogue. I wanted her crying. And this is the same. It's the same. It's the, it's the lady who put her son into power. That lady's kid, or is it the old lady's kids? So Rhaenyra's best friend, Allison Hightower. Uh, so it was her. Allison, her son did it. Killed, um, Rhaenyra's son. Mm-hmm. She. So it was a lot of crazy shit. A lot of crazy shit. So it was one of them shits. Yo, and, and that was my and that was my gripe about. That was the only thing at the end that I didn't like because I wanted a little bit more to show the effect. I mean, they're probably gonna show it, you know, in the next season. Mm. But I wanted that little interaction. But all in all, outside of that, it was it was a great episode because I do the I do the little. Um, Oh, the I watch after, yeah. so I like to watch the after. Yeah, I like, yeah, the, after I like the inside. Nice. After nah, the those, that's like the only show I do that with because like they they explain stuff and hint to stuff that I might have missed, and it makes more sense when they explain. I'm like, all right, I can see that. So right. remember, he did that with you for it. He didn't do that. With <laughs> he did the inside the episode with you for it. I do all the inside the episodes with you for it. Remember, nah, I like, like, was like, the director oh. said that he's rude. <laughs> <laughs> That was right. That was right. Baby. That was it wasn't right. That was that was episode ten. That wasn't right. That was episode ten by your boy Young Dad. <coughs> <coughs> that wasn't right. He was right. That wasn't right. <coughs> nah. Anyway, go but ahead. yeah, that's why I, I like those inside inside the episode type <laughs> shits, and they explain, you know. But again, like all in all, like the season, I felt like Dell would have need to have to. I didn't at the first. I wasn't a fan of the little. The time, the time jumps, but it makes sense of what they're trying to do and where they're going. They have to make up all this ground. You know, they got to tell the story of multiple people. And, you know, they're talking about the House of the Dragon, so they're not talking about Rhaenyra. Her sons, possibly their sons. You know, pretty much, I would assume, what's going on, going to go on for is just going to be a battle amongst the Targaryens trying to get the throne. So that's like a little mini inside the Game of Thrones Thrones. It's gonna, I feel like this whole shit is just going to turn into like, we're going to watch a couple seasons of it, because they're definitely going to have more seasons, right? So, they're going to get a couple more seasons of it, and it's just going to somewhere end with like somehow telling us where, where Game of Thrones starts. Somehow. Possible. Mm-hmm. That's what kind of one of the directions I wanted them to go to. I wanted them to go to like like back when like it all happened where they said like the first man and the White Walkers were walking. Like I kind of wanted it to go. It, back it might even go. It might even end with us understanding how come all the dragons are dead. Yeah, we might. It might yeah, get. To, it's, it's probably right, gonna right, get to yeah. that. I'm sure it's probably gonna get to a that. lot of yeah. questions because you know they by the time Game of Thrones comes about, there is no dragons until Homegirl shows up. Yeah, so right. So yeah, they got two hundred years to play with. So that's why I'd, probably in multiple seasons they'll do time jumps. So like yeah. next season they'll probably do a time, time jump. jump. Yeah, it might be Rhaenyra's oh, old. Time jump? You think a time jump's coming? Well, yeah. you're going off of 200 years before Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. So yeah. far, if I'm right, I think we've already covered at least 16 years. Yeah, like six. Yeah, 16. Yeah, years. like 16 like, years. Like, like yeah, 15 to 16. Yeah. Her kids are like 
or 16, 15. Right, so, right, right, right. So yeah. they did that type of that jump. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think for, for me, it was the way it ended was, and I get what you're saying, you'd rather have seen that interaction, but the way it ended was more what built the fire to get you ready for next season because yeah. it was like, yo, she, she you know, the, uh, everything that led up to what up, what led up to was cool. But then on the day of, when you go by that, this all these two episodes happened in the span of like one to two days, yeah. which was pretty crazy. So now you're going off of one. Her father. So, just, oh wait, no, my bad. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. There's just one. Her father just passed. Two. She lost her brand newborn child. It was a yeah. stillborn. Yeah. Uh, three. Uh, she was supposed to find some way to take the throne, and then her best friend, who had already found a way to be her stepmom, um, beat her to it by using her own son. And then lastly, was when you thought things was kind of calming down, you're like, you know what? I'm a little mad at that, but I'm going to go be queen of my own thing. I'm going to be queen. Fuck it. And then your uncle slash husband comes up and goes, yo, fam, so um, yo, they body little man. What? Yeah. <laughs> like that was it? Because the way they did it in the camera scene, he just walks up. He's like, he's like, yo, body little man. And she's like, she's like, I'm about to kill everybody. Just turn around. Everybody's getting smoked. So it was like, yo, that was what you needed because she was really on a vibe of like her father, where it was like, yo, I'm tired of beefing. I just want to chill. Like, let me just chill. And you know, um, but they they took too much now from her. Right. They took too much, and and just. Yo, I think that's what we know. Like that means next season she's gonna turn the she, fuck up. Yeah, yeah, because it's the equivalent of like you just having a bad day, and then so it, can come, it, come, it could come back as a time jump, like you said. Now, because now it could be like, okay, cool. You you guys saw that her son dies. Mm. They took too much from her. Her mm. anger rage mm. is there. We see that they ended there. Yeah. When they come back, they're gonna be like twenty years later, and she's like fucking super boss now. Yeah. Like, like right, right, yeah. Right. Ready I, I, to I strike. They, I mean, I hope they ready don't. to strike. Like I got my four hundred men. Well, I don't know too hard with. <laughs> not, not that big of a time jump. Yeah, not that big of a time jump. But I, I get what you're saying. I mean, you said they did sixteen years already. Yeah. Well, that's true. So he's right. So, they but did. I feel like they better not is because I want her to. Show up at doorstep like yo, I'm here coming for that ass. Like, yeah, but they will. It would no, he's saying, but he's saying with a Thompson. With a Thompson, yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's not like she could just show up at the doorstep with her new, her newfound like title and be like, yeah, I'm stronger than y'all niggas. No, mm. we know that you're not stronger than us. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, so with a Thompson, it'll be like, yo, we've already went through a lot. Yeah, of stuff so they won't. They don't forces. need to tell us how she gains that much power. They'll kind of just hint back at it, yeah. but just understand she's brolic now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, she's. She's always has been brother because they even talk about it in the episode like yo we got like twelve dragons they mm. got like three like mm. so like I was like oh shit these niggas I'm like they can live, like they really said like yo we can take this over like right now we got oh we can just bring all these dragons and we'll see what's up but, exactly um, where we bring exactly. like all twelve of our dragons at the same motherfucking time <laughs> that's basic. Um, so fun facts folks that this uh, House of Dragons if you read the books or even like pay attention to the books. <laughs> Is based on the book Fire and Blood. That is where it's based off of. And the dragon that we had to see was also known. Uh, no, no, my bad. Um, the dragon that was once mounted by the benevolent king Jaharis Targaryen uh, was known as Vermithor. He had a quick, quick appearance in the show. That's who it was. Yeah. Well, like the Damon was going to right. Yeah, the one that. Uh, Amon was was riding was Vagar. That's Vagar. Yeah, that's Vagar. Vagar. Yeah, he was big, but this one is bigger than the Vagar. Vagar. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's a lot that's gonna go down. Hopefully, they keep it going by the books. Hopefully, they don't do like. Is it did. spot on to the books or from what you're seeing? Like it's. Well, I don't know the book that much. Before what I'm see, what I've been reading online, it's <laughs> slightly faithful. Okay. Um, hope yeah, that's what I was hoping for. That it doesn't go the route of Game of Thrones, where we all remember that. They went past the books because HBO was like, this show is hot. We need yeah. to keep pumping episodes. And R George R. R. Martin was like, fam, I don't have that much. Yeah, I, don't have that yet. Yet. I don't got books written yet. Like, you got to wait. And they're like, that's what blows my Because it's like, but that's why they're saying that, that the dude might redo it. Like, yeah, he yeah. might. And so, like, I hope, but we probably will see that for a so, little bit. So, he might like, redo Game of Thrones? No, not, but oh. like the ending. Oh, I'm about to say, Game of Thrones Cop? No, 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 like the ending. Oh. So, Game, Game of Thrones Cop. Game of Thrones Cop, bro. Heard right it back. Yeah. Right in back. I watch that. Nah, I wouldn't watch that. I watch that. That's that fire. You know how many episodes is in Game of Thrones? Yeah, but if you do a Kai version, then you do less episodes. You see? 
You're doing way less episodes. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I, I, I am looking forward to it, man. It's, it's, it was just really, really good. And like I said, I'm not as active on Game of Thrones as YouTube. I'm going to be honest with y'all folks at home. Out of all the, what, the 80 something episodes or something like that, I've only seen one. Out of what? Game of Thrones? Yeah, so the series premiere. It's 73 the series episodes. Finale. I just looked it up. Okay, thank you. So I saw the series premiere and the series finale. I saw the series finale with you guys, and I saw the series premiere by myself after the series finale. What happened? What happened? I'm sorry. This is sports related. This is just it. Oh, whoa, 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 this, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm so sorry. Whoa, 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 okay, so we'll stop the Game of Thrones talk for <laughs> Hold now. Hold on. Uh oh. I don't know if this is 100 percent real, but someone just said, "Someone just said the Jets are making a big try to climb Jaguars." James Robinson. Oh. Well, that 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 could be uh, uh, big. I didn't see anything about that yet, but we'll see. Someone just sent me. I don't know if that's real or not. Yeah. But someone just sent me that. It's like, yo, we got reinforcements. I think I, I think because they know you're a Jets fan. Yeah. <laughs> yo, <with you. laughs> yo, imagine. Yeah. I imagine? think that's what happened. The Jets won again. Oh, right, right, right. Back to the Jets fan. Get this thing. Jets and Giants both won. So. The Jets and Giants both won. So shout out to them. We'll, yeah. we'll talk more about that in a moment. But yeah, like I said. Yeah. So the Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, so never, young dad with an interruption. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we saw, we saw the like I said, we saw the first episode. I saw the first episode where Aquaman was um was was throwing, was, was throwing it on old girl uh, Daenerys and um, niggas said Aquaman was throwing it on old girl. Daenerys. What's what's his government name? That was not that. It's that. I had to think about it for a second. Yo. And I was like, what part is that? And I know what you're Yeah, at the end. He's just like, poof. And she's just sitting there like, ugh, ugh, ugh. And I was like, yo. Nah, he was so brolic <laughs> and OP. For, he, without that, just the fact of his like bloodline and where he came from, yeah. that they had to smoke him early. <laughs> because then it would have been a different show. You're right. You're right. They had to smoke him. Bro. That nigga was a savage. <laughs> <laughs> bro, first episode. I know he's a savage. First what? episode, bro. The first episode. That's yeah. I know off rip. Yeah, just like, was, uh, they, they was like, yeah, we got to kill this guy out. We got <laughs> to get my body. We got to get him <laughs> out of here. This show is not going to last long if we keep this nigga. <laughs> Everyone would be like, why didn't, why, what do you mean they lost to him? <laughs> like, that that start lost to that nigga? How? How? In a sword fight? In a sword fight? You sure? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah, somebody cheated. It's kind of crazy. And there was an arrow. Somebody shot an arrow from deep. So, but so yeah. uh, uh, young Dev, you 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 must forgive young Dev. He's Sorry. a true Sorry. Jets fan, and it turns out that they are actually sending James Robinson to the Jets, the New York Jets. Wow. Uh, we're gonna find out probably soon for who. We've never had awesome. late breaking news before because we don't really do news as much as we should. <laughs> oh my god. You don't have to go in depth, bro. That's yeah, that's no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just saying. Just continue the conversation. I mean, we didn't really have much else to the game with those conversations. We were just talking <laughs> no, about. No, we was going to move on. But anyway, yeah, so overall, you like the season? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first episode, uh, yeah, like I said, I saw that. And then the last episode, all I remember was it was uh, our friend John from Jiu Jitsu Lounge Podcast. It was me and Ed. And it was our friend Jeremy, uh, who we also know. And we were at his house, Jeremy's house. And all I remember was like, Aunt and John just nitpicking at the episode <laughs> because they weren't happy. And they're just like, yo, he did what? Dog, I, I don't even see how that makes sense. And then Jeremy's just sitting there like, yo, both, and it always gets quiet all years. Yo, both of you guys shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, there was only one thing about that episode that made sense. <laughs> when the nigga melted the chair. <laughs> That's what to you? The dragon melting the chair <laughs> is the only thing that came out of that whole shit <laughs> that mattered, alright? And that's only because it was like, alright, cool. <laughs> He's like, I'll take it, I'll take it. It is what it is. It is, what it is. Here we are, here we are. Like, 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 you know what? I get it. Like, fuck, after all of that, fuck this, we out. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like what? What the hell? Yeah. Uh, but speaking of fiction, we want to go to um, an actor who is, has been holding down a fictional character for a while, and he's going to keep holding them down. And that is Henry Cavill, ladies and gentlemen. Henry Cavill is going to stick around a little longer and be Superman for the foreseeable future. We don't oh, know really? as to when What's he'll Superman? stop. 
Oh, so yeah. Henry Campbell as in the guy who's Henry, Superman right now. Yes, Henry Cavill, uh, who is currently playing Superman last we checked, in live action Superman films. He's going to keep playing Superman. We don't know what Superman films we're going to get in the future. We don't know what else we'll get. But if that news is coming out, then we know that means that Superman movies are in the future. Well, yeah, but what I mean is, like, we don't know how many or if he's going to join up in another film. There's already a rumor that he's in Black Panther at the... I mean, excuse me, Black Adam at the end. But we don't know if that means a Superman Man of Steel 2. Really? Yeah. Or a Justice Wait, League so 2. Wait, so he's in Black Adam, which is already out, and it yeah. hasn't been confirmed to be seen at the end. That's interesting. I'm surprised the internet hasn't blown that up yet. Oh, they have. And we're just joining the party. So you saw it? No, we didn't see it. No, I'm saying you saw... Oh, I didn't want to see it, but, I, but I'm aware that he, he did that. It's the, the whole internet saying that he's in it. So if we're, if, we're, if we're wrong, we're okay with being wrong. But if we're right, then it's cool. Are we going to see Black Adam? We will. We, we have a slate of three. trying to. He don't want to see it. That's I, what I, I, see. I told you. You said, do you want to see it? I said, we see a bootleg. That way, if it's whack, we not mad. He wants me. He bootleg. thinks I'm going to meet up with him to watch a bootleg. A bootleg we Right here. Nah. Bootleg when? And the quality's not good yeah, yet. Yeah, what's up, man? Yo, I nah, checked that shit. About, I about, checked that shit. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Because I was like, this guy's always the main one talking about nah, I'm I not checked that shit. The right, bootleg, so bootleg not good yet. All right, so you ain't found a you ain't found a, a cool bootleg. Nah, we ain't found no HDs yet. It's right. too early in the right, game. Right, right. That takes that takes some time. If it's a decent movie, it will take it like well, not even a decent movie. If it's a a decent company that releases the movie, mm. it'll take up to like a month, okay. two months. It'll okay. take a, it takes a little while. Kind sometimes of. you get lucky. Sometimes. Sometimes. But mo- majority of the time, that shit don't that shit don't pop up for a little while. Like <laughs> fucking Doctor Strange, some of those some of those Marvel movies, they take mad long to find a good quality one. Yeah, on and, and it is the number one movie worldwide right now. Um, and we, and we do want to eventually talk about it because by the time it HBO Max, nobody will care to talk to us to hear us talk about it. So we will we will bring it up before it even touches HBO Max. But uh, isn't it? You sure it's not already on HBO Max? Hundred percent sure. Definitely this movie cannot not be the number one movie in America and HBO Max. Not, no. It's the number one movie in America? Wow, Dwayne Johnson did it again. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's why they did it. To be fair, even if the movie is trash, it's, it's The Rock. The Rock is already a big enough movie star that even if he makes a movie that's not good, you're still going to see it because you like him as a movie star. But I will say this, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You are, my favorite rest- you are one of my favorite wrestlers, and you're a good movie actor. Um, however, if I go see Black Adam and it's not good, it further proves my point that you need to stop making adaptation films. Just make regular films that you've been making. Like, the rundown was good. Jumanji is technically an adaptation, but it was still good. It was just a reboot in a sense. But Walking Tall was good. You've made some good films when they weren't adaptations. But Mummy 2, Scorpion King on the fence, then Rampage is bad, Doom is bad. So if Black Adam's bad, it's like yeah, adaptations might not be your thing. Even Pain and Game was okay at best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was okay, but that's what I'm saying. It's not to say you whack, and it's not to say the movie, all the movies you're in the trash. But it's just to say adaptations might not be for you. Certain actors just know what's for them, so the adaptations might not be for you. But if it's helping you make bread, don't let it stop you. That's all I'm saying. It's helping you make bread, don't let it stop you. But just remember. One day you saw Nerds in the Hood and we told you, you stop making adaptations, bro. Doom, Rampage, Blackout. Stop. <laughs> stop. Yeah. Stop. So, anyway. Yo, uh, what happened? I like, I, like, I like both of those movies. Oh, well, not Rampage. Doom, I, Doom was trash, but I still like it. I don't care what you say, okay? Doom was horrible. He it was, was horrible. Like, Doom, he even knows it it's was one of those. It's one of those it's bad It's because I'm a movies. video game head, okay? It's one of those bad, it's, good movies. I don't expect it to be good quality. We're all video game heads, but we've openly yeah. said this on this show so many times. I, it was a bad movie, it, we but might I like it. Posted above our heads I like it. Rampage, I didn't like. I didn't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> video game movies aren't great, bro. And Doom is on that list. They even had a scene where they tried to go into first person mode and it didn't even work out. It's not, it's just, it's not good. But anyway, my main question though is, do you, do you feel him coming back makes you want to watch DC movies in theaters or do you feel it's too late? Mm, I would go see it just because 
I fuck with the rock, you know, he makes I I pretty much seen at least something with him. And he's in it, I give it a look. Cause mm-hmm. he's he's a great actor. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if it if does it make the resurgence? I doubt it. No. Because he's not gonna do it by himself. You mm-hmm. need like you need to like revamp that shit again after they revamped it again. Like, <laughs> you know, they gotta they gotta do something. I it doesn't I mean if the movie's good then I'm like, all right, let's see what they do next. Mm. But again, what other movie we have coming out from them this year? Outside of Black Adam? Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, for this year, yeah. Black Adam, and then next... Next year, Blue Beetle? Like, uh, uh, like, it has to give me something to look forward to. Like, yo. But, yeah. So yeah. I think, like, I, but again, I gotta see the movie. I gotta see if it's, if it's good enough. Yeah. It says that usually movies take up to... Com- these comic book movies take up to 45 days to go on to HBO Max. Okay. So, Black Adam, apparently, hopefully, will be there in 45 days. Yeah, that means it'll be there around the holiday season. By December 15th. Yeah, by December, yeah. But we don't, yeah, we don't want to wait that long. We don't want to wait that long. We want to we wanna be more, we want to be more in the now. So, we'll, we got three big movies we're going to go see, folks. So, be on the lookout for when we post stuff about when we saw it and We'll hit the next episode. We got Black Adam. Black Adam. We got One Piece Film Red. One Piece Film Red. And we got Black Panther 2. So, we will be Black out Panther there. <laughs> we, we, we will be out I'm there. I'm not excited about that movie at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so, uh, do you feel that it's too little too late? Do you feel like that you what? have... Do you feel it's too late for him to be in the movie? Do you feel like now you're you're done with DC movies, or you feel like him being there? You feel cool nah. I, I'm not I, okay. I'm not completely done with DC movies. Yes, they having a bad run. They're not doing better than Marvel, mm-hmm. but it doesn't mean that they can't fix it. <laughs> so it's like, all right, you know, you're going with Dwayne Johnson. Good choice. Dwayne Johnson is my guy. <laughs> you know, we drink his alcohol all the time. <laughs> like I fuck with The Rock heavy through wrestling, through acting, bro. I know The Rock when he had a little baby bull tattoo on his arm. <laughs> that well, shit. But what about? But, but yeah. So now, you, so you see The Rock. You know The Rock's gonna be back. Yeah. So no, no. Nah, you said back or bad? No, I mean like you know you are like back in another film. That's yeah, what that's mean. what I'm saying. I don't think I, I think this is good. DC did the right thing. Well, let's see how it goes. I mean, is he gonna? Is the movie the movie might like we said before the movie might be bad, but I highly doubt it would be because of the rock. No, but I meant like Henry Cavill. Do you mean like do you feel that Henry Cavill being in these films now? I mean, oh. resigning to be Superman. Oh no, nah, he did good. Yeah, he was a good Superman because if you really think about it, the other Superman movies, Man of Steel and stuff like that, mm. were we not fucking with them? Well, Man of Steel, Pete was arguably good. Because there were people that yeah, liked still, it, but I people that hated the end. Yeah. And then there was Batman vs. Superman got bombed and Justice League got bombed. Okay, but the, the, the Man of Steel, though, the one that he did, the first one, yeah. he killed it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So he's not a bad Superman. Okay. The other two bombed. Right. But it wasn't really him, though. It wasn't really him. It wasn't it was his the, fault, no. Yeah, it was the it was movie. Right, yeah. right, right. So if he's staying with the team, then that's great. Because he's fucking good. Okay. okay. <laughs> he wasn't, I don't think he was bad. Yeah, no, yeah, he's yeah. not bad. He's not bad at all. He's not bad at all. My boy, the Flash. You know that's my nigga. He, so, he fucking up out here, and that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. that's that's the thing because I mean, you was supposed to be great. Yeah, and now you add on to that combo. I never liked him, but I mean, you add on you, you add on to that combo. Now you retain Henry Cavill as Superman, but now the president of of DC Films has stepped down. Mm. So they all the shambles over there. Yeah. I don't even want to hear about them. I mean, yo, DC yo, changes some changes sometimes good. It just sometimes good. Maybe he was holding shit on the whole on a lock, and now they got some new they got some new heads in there. It's just like, yeah, we are gonna fuck this whole yeah. shit up. Walter Hamada, he was the president, if I'm right, Ooh. I believe. Walter, Another rich man, I don't know. Um, well, there's a lot of rich men we don't know. Walter Hamada, uh, he was the president, I believe. He was the president of DC Films since like 2018. I want to say. Um, yep, president of DC Films was 2018, which means he was only president for four years. Oh, he, he did a regular president. Time, 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 time out, time out, time out. gone. Time out. Now you, Karada, you, now my brain needs to know. <laughs> you need to look up 
how long was the president of D.C. before that nigga? Because if it's something going on over there where niggas still be the president <laughs> for two, three years, they got, they got, they got real problems. Nah, they, they, they have a rotation. Like, you hold this down for four years, you hold this down for four years. Yeah. Well, you know, that, is, that is the real question. So Now I need to know how long was the president before him? <laughs> out. He said four years. When you said four years, I was very surprised. Wait, what? Four years? Well, that's 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 the real question we, we got to <laughs> Hold out. on, bro. Uh, I don't even think they got it. Because when I was reading it, I couldn't find anything. No, you got to Google that shit. <laughs> you got to Google that shit. Google that shit. No, no, you're right. You're, 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 uh, you're what is definitely... it? What would you look up? DC comic films? No, you would want to say it's the DC films. Uh, DC films presence, okay. I guess, would be the right thing to yeah, say. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard to say because... Before him, they weren't really doing a lot of those. Um, so it's kind of hard to say who it was. But, um, yeah. All here, I we was, go, here we go, here we okay, go. Okay, okay. Walter Armada, uh-huh. former. Uh-huh. Tw- January 2018 mm-hmm. to October 2022. Okay. This one says, uh, I can't even say something, John. Geoff Johns? Geek. Yeah, I think it's Golf Johns. Golf Johns, May 2016 to December 2007. But he wasn't he wasn't the president of their film company. He was just the chairman. So that's two different things. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, Still, that's only one year. Okay, that's, we can go with that too. But unfortunately... Then the homie below him, Executive Vice President John Burke, was also there one year. So now nah, DC got problems. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> you can say all for that, that all of them eventually was like, it's time to go. Like, yeah. And then the crazy thing is, yeah, when three people on top of your top is board steps down, yeah. you know you got problems. The crazy so. thing about that is, if you look at the other two, they were presidents. They were no, no, they were like top dogs between May 2016 and December 2017. Which means that that was a year that they told themselves, like, yo, these mofo's aren't doing it anymore. And if I'm right, 2016 to 2017 was the Suicide Squad film, I think. Mm. Oh, and I want to say, oh, I feel like maybe Batman vs Superman. It was definitely one of them joints. Suicide Squad. Yeah, so it was Batman vs Batman vs Superman was one of the big films that came out at that time. Um, and then they still had their TV shows like Arrow and stuff like that. But yeah, there wasn't there wasn't and that was really really. Arrow was really the one that probably made people think that DC yeah. had a fighting chance. Honestly, that <laughs> TV series I feel like that's way better. Has no, have a better. Oh, that's character. true. I'm bugging. The Flash is definitely the Flash, a fire. and that's <laughs> TV series. And that's why oh, I, I actually support. I hope DC does the right thing and pick him up as Flash. Mm. That would be the most logical thing to do. I mean, he's yeah. been on there. He's been. He's the most recent. People know him. Mm. Like, if you're familiar, I'm pretty I mean, sure he, he's DC nice. fans watch. That show, right? So he's, like, he's, he's he's good. He's good. He is and he's a good. I feel like he's a good. He's a good actor. Like, yeah, he's I know you know how those CW shows like could be a little like you know on the corny side and mm-hmm. like you know some, but like they over. I mean, towards the end, they yeah. kind of slacked off towards these last like true, season true, or something. True, true. But like they had a track where like five or six seasons where you was like, yo, what happened in the Flash? Like one of them jaw droppers. Like, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he played the part. With, I mean, he I played, played the part right. Yeah. He's a good Flash. Bro. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> I mean, who acted in yeah. that was not a bad Flash. He, I liked him too, but that homie, homie on the TV show killed it. Mm-hmm. He killed it. Well, if you look at yeah, so if you look at um, let's not say homie on the TV show. What's his name? Let's find yeah. his name. Who on uh, the, t- the the actor for the TV, TV show. show? Of which one? Uh, Arrow or no. oh, the Flash? Oh, the Flash. My boy I Barry Allen. Bro, 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 bro. It was, I, if um, I walked up to him on the street, I probably would call him Barry Allen. It's yeah. Grant Gustin. Grant Gustin. Yeah. Grant I would call Gustin. him. I would call him Barry. Tell him yo Barry. Yeah. <laughs> yo Barry Allen. Yo, Barry Allen. What's up? Yo no, Barry Allen. Grant Gustin uh, is the the actor that plays that Flash that everybody actually wanted to just keep playing the Flash, um, but we went a different route. So anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. Some people be mad that I be saying true. that this Flash is I. Right. I'm not saying that he's the best Flash, but he was I. Right. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. So he, he, he outshined other people yeah, a little did. bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Because yeah. you're not going to outshine Aquaman, even though Aquaman was a white character. He, the actor, was not white. <laughs> <laughs> so. so DC, y'all got, y'all got some work to do. 
um, losing a president, especially during a time when y'all trying to make a comeback. And if that president, I don't know, somehow defects to Marvel or some shit like that, y'all y'all gonna be fucked. Yeah, up. yo, they fucked. Yeah, like, right, they got the curse right now. You know, it's looking bad though, because Marvel is just too hot. They got too much. The inform the thing that confuses me is that Marvel is able to take all these comic books, right? Years and years and years of information, well drawn, illustrated comic books, right, and put them in these movies. And DC is moving like they're waiting for comic books to release. <laughs> like, well, and I'm just like, yo, I think yeah, it's the, just that DC and Marvel comics were being released at the same in the in the same time span of like how it was going down back in the day with comic books. So that means the information for DC is there the same way the information for Marvel is there. You get what I'm saying? Mm. It is there. We know the stories for a lot of the DC characters. We know how deep they go if you really look into it, right? So why the fuck does Marvel movies move the way they do? And I mean, why the fuck does DC movies move the way they do and Marvel is crushing it? Like, I mean, that's just less management. That's like, that's the higher, that's corp- corporation where they see their vision is going. And you also got to give, you got to tip your hat to Marvel at the end of the day because they pretty much, they, they found, they found their lane faster than them. That's just how that goes. Like, yeah, they I mean, had the funny because you see how DC try to move toward like, the funny, like, uh, superhero, like, Marvel does and things of that nature. I never thought as DC like that, like, just make your movie. They did that with, um, what's this? They did that with, uh, Suicide, Suicide Squad. They, the second one, The yeah. second one, second um, one, yeah. and some of the, the show, too, with fucking, um. Well, Peacemaker is just Peacemaker. riding off. It's, it's, it's made yeah, by the same it's made by the same thing. Yeah, 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 but that's what I'm saying, like, but most, some of their movies have been, like, aiming towards that direction, I feel like, DC. Okay. So, and I feel like they just, they don't know their lane, and they keep, right. and again, they keep moving these directors in and out, in and, out and not staying into one course. Mm. So, I feel like this is all how it's run. They have the content there, that's the crazy part. They could do amazing stuff with that, because they have great stories, but it's, I guess, the money they have, or they, the people running it see a different direction, and they fucked up. Mm. They, they, they just fuck up, and I don't see until... They make a course correct something major, like it's it's just gonna still be shit because the whole timeline is just like in smoke. Gotcha. No, I get I get I get what you're saying, and and it should. That's why I said we can only hope that it'll get better from there. We go all we can do. Is I got no faith, so I don't even. Know yeah, that. that's and that's why I was asking the question about is the Cavill no. re-signing enough to keep you around or give you faith. And if it ain't, it's understandable. Well, I'm going to watch just to see what you right, do. Just see what they do. And the fact that it's a face that I know and like, it, right. makes it, it might make it a little bit easier to digest. Mm-hmm. Factory. So. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of uh, other fictional characters making a comeback, it has been announced that there is a new Saw movie coming out, and it will bring about Saw? the return of the Jigsaw. Did we see... Did, did anyone see the new Halloween movie yet? No. No. I, oh, well, we had uh, someone come up and tell me at the show, at the last... Our last horror trivia. We have mm-hmm. another one coming up this Wednesday. But at the last horror trivia, um, that uh, that the ha- uh, Halloween movie was trash. Oh, okay. Right? And I'm just like, yo, really? They're like, yo, it was so bad I walked out. I was like, damn, is that is that bad? Is that bad? I mean, the, la- the last one that I seen with the, you know, with the new update and they, they throw him in the basement and catch him on fire... I was like, all right, this, this is pretty pretty intense, right? So when they came out with this one, I'm like, how do you survive fire? <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear the worst part? You said he walked out, and then he walked out the theater? Yeah. He could have just turned his TV off, because that shit's on Peacock. Oh, <laughs> oh maybe <laughs> that's what that's what he Stress. said. Maybe that's what he said to me. That's why I asked. I was like, are you sure Black Adam is out? Maybe it was that person. It was, uh, it was what's his, it was, uh, it was our boy. It was um, Tax Man. Tax Man. No, when when I saw him at the comedy show, he started talking to me about Halloween. But I remember I said it was a. Remember I was saying, isn't it Black Adam already on HBO Max? Is that's what he said? He said he just seen Halloween, uh, oh, that it was Peacock. trash, and then it was already on Peacock. Yeah, now it was already on Peacock. Yeah, to well, check that out. Peacock has this habit of releasing some films on the same day as it hits theaters, which I don't know if it hurts the movie or not, but I know that they do it so. But but do you know what movies are gonna come out on Peacock what, before? Or do they? The just only play? way you will know is if the movie advertises it. Because some movies at, on the commercials they'll say, 
uh, in theaters, such and such and such, also streaming on Peacock the same day. I wonder how much of a pay loss they lose for where, uh, box, like, you know, box seats, whatever they call that, box office. Well, well you might lose a little on that, versus, but, you, versus but they, but, but they, they per yeah. but they, but they pay for that. That's like yeah. a whole thing. Yeah. Like every, all these, like the, the platforms like Netflix, yeah. fucking Peacock, Hulu, mm-hmm. they, they pay for all these shows. So they're yeah. paying the creators. Yeah. So they, of course... And of course, they probably have a contract in where streams count as percentage. That's percentage. true. That's true. Right? They're so, probably like, Yo, but those networks, they're paying to, to show. Yeah, to show yeah, that. yeah. They're like, here's you know, a hundred million. Yeah. Right. Here's so they're still making money. The they're making money, and, and if it, we're gonna pay you whatever amount per stream. And that's why it's also a double take, like, because this will probably, I think, I'm it's in theaters, I believe. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, it's in theaters. Right. So yeah, they, get theaters, both, they get theaters. both. They get both. They get both. You know, they yeah, get both yeah. of that. That. Um, that uh, those numbers, but do you feel like y'all ready for another Saw movie after Spiral and all that? Or y'all just like, why are you coming back, man? Yeah, Honestly, I don't even I'm remember. Really it. Over yeah, it. I'm, I'm over I'm Saw. I can't even really remember much about Saw. Of this it's been too that, much. Like you don't have to. It was do mad it. gruesome. You don't have to do mad, mad bloody. I didn't yeah. even finish Spiral. I heard that was good though. I didn't. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't finish Spiral. Too. I didn't even watch Spiral either. <laughs> this is all right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's certain things, right? Like I, I just feel like. I'm the type of person, maybe. Excuse me. I'm the type of person that's like, all right, you know. Uh, show me, sh- you know, show me your product. So they show me the product mm-hmm. a couple of times, and you keep remaking it, remaking it, remaking it. And once you lose me, I'm just like, oh, that came out. <laughs> like, because <laughs> you already lost me. So. You already lost me. Right? <laughs> like, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So, so you lost us. That's what we're trying to see. We're trying to see if these two returning franchises. Or just returning players make you feel like you want to come back for more. Because if not, it's just like, uh, I don't know what you're going to do. Uh, so, with that being said, we're going to move on to our tried and true segment known as Facts or... Fuck out of here. What? Damn, we already did? Yeah, we spent a lot of time talking about a lot of different things. So, it's about time we move on to Facts or... Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Now, fuck out of here. I don't want to talk about this shit. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. Wow. Joking, joking, joking. Anyway, I'm joking. I'm joking. My fault. My fault. We're actually, usually we, <laughs> mm-hmm. usually we find a list and we discuss it and dissect it. Usually. And, so what you got? We, uh, we, dissect, we dissect it and see if we agree mm-hmm. by saying facts, which is the exactly. universal usually. hood term, and I disagree see. saying fuck out of here, which is the universal hood term for we don't agree. <laughs> now, uh, I don't agree. <laughs> what we're doing this time is something we usually do once in a while is where we kind of make our own kind of list and we just see like how we feel about it. And then eventually we get you fans on it as well. So how, get, how are we going to grade our own list? Hold on, time out. We're just going to say the things. We're not going to say facts. I forgot to hear on this one. We've done it before, man. Just play We made the list and then we're going to grade our own list that we made. This is confusing. Just do like that, man. You're just playing along, man. I don't I know how you, you can confuse. We've done this before. I got you. I got questions about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? He's too hot. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's not like it's a, there's a new person sitting here. You're like, what do you think of our list? Well, it's like, yo, yo, write this list, uh-huh. and then we're gonna grade the list that we just wrote. Oh, okay. Well, you know the good thing about that is I don't do that when guests are here. <laughs> it's only when I sit here. No, we're, we're, we're a squad. I want to tell the guests, yo, we're gonna make a break. You don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, so with that being said, let's move on to what we are saying. Like, we are going to discuss. Yeah, that's like me. That's like me tasting a bear, mm-hmm. then writing a note, and then reading the note about the bear to myself after I wrote it. You never <laughs> say it. If I bug it, like, <laughs> right. I'm, glad, I'm glad you got that off your chest, bro. I'm glad you. I'm glad you felt that way about it. Anyway, all all I wanted to discuss was. When it comes, people have Mount Rushmore's of different things, which is what we've done before on this show. So, one of the Mount Rushmore's I want us to do this time is about Halloween films. That's all I was trying to do. It's just the, what do you think? What would you put on your Mount Rushmore? It don't gotta be a. I don't even be... watch Halloween films like that, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was about to agree with you too. <laughs> so you guys haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street. I so mean, you're saying horror movie films? Don't say Halloween films because you're bugging right now. How many Halloween films are there to say? I'm on no, Rushmore. horror movie films are not Halloween films, bro. They don't always come out on Halloween. That's the truth. That's 
No, they don't. There's Christmas movies that will come out on Christmas. Okay, so I don't go. I'm not gonna go around talking about Christmas that's movies. Very, that's very rare, though. Yeah, I mean, you see, matter, man. You know what I mean. Yeah. No, I didn't know what you mean. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm not what being is, a dick. I'm that, that, not saying you are. That, that is that is a good clarification, though. Because oh, Halloween oh movies compared to yeah, Halloween oh. movies makes yeah, me think of all these weird. Around in the segment since it started. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> proud. Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah. What is your Mount Rushmore horror films? Okay. Okay. All right. That sounds better. It's fine. That sounds better. Fine. God. Or like a theme of scary movies or something that reminds you of Halloween. Okay. Like, that, that's how you should have said. It. Fine. I'm sorry. Okay. That's. You fine. want me to take over facts about that? Nah, nah, nah. Got it. You been trying to take over for weeks. Nah, nah. I was throw that shit to my suit. Out. <laughs> what is or the Mount Rushmore of your horror movie films? And what would you say is a Mount Rushmore? I ain't even gonna hold you. There's two of them. There's two of them. That j- you ask me that question makes me automatically like think of it. Okay. The descent. Okay. Ooh. The descent, and as below or above or something like that, where they go into the f- the French joints. The French joints. They go into the the the, the catacombs of the of France, where the, it, it's supposed to be. the goes down into the earth into hell. And this is a real thing, by the way. No, no, I. I <laughs> Oh, oh, you're saying it's real outside of the movie. Outside of the movie, the catacombs oh, of France gotcha, is real. Gotcha, gotcha. This is real. Okay, but uh, it's like a is is I'm pretty sure it's called as below as as above as below or something like that. Okay, so that's that's your oh as name. below as above so below, right? Mm-hmm. An archaeologist has devoted her whole life finding one of her history's greatest treasures, and according to the legend, she go like uh, let me see. Artificial grand eternal life to turn any metal into gold. She no, nah, this is oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> she learns that the stone is hidden underground mm. in the catacombs of Paris. Mm. She assembles a crew and guides the docu- guides and documents her historical mission as they begin their descent. The team members has no way to know what they're entering in their own personal hell. So they go down. They, it's it's a true. Well, it's not true. The place is true. The, the movie just... The movie is eating away at the fact that the tunnels are supposed to be really going into hell. That's it. But it's, a, it's scary as fuck. Because it, it's a movie. You know it is a movie, right? And it's a pretty good scary movie. Um, but then if you go fat, past that fact and you start to be like, so if I go to Paris, I can go into this? <laughs> 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 it, gets a little, it gets a little bit more scary. It's a little bit more scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, nah, but yeah, so as as above as so below and descent. Which is so funny now because as I read the description it said descent and I'm like, interesting. So both movies are about going down. So I'm scared about <laughs> <Just go ahead. laughs> Um, yeah. No, uh, the descent. I remember that. I was with the the four women. They went into the cave. Went to the cave and got chased by the crazy creatures yeah. or whatever. Yeah, the descent. Yeah, the yeah. descent is different. The descent is different. So what's crazier about that is there's two endings to that. You know that, right? Someone told me that. Yeah, before. there's two endings. So yeah. one ending is uh, she actually does get away. Yeah, yeah. She gets away, and uh, mm-hmm. that's it. She's just like shook. She's yeah, like, shook. she's the last one. She gets away. The other ending is what we she saw. Gets she gets away, and there's actually a hallucination, and she gets murked. Yeah. 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 yeah and she uh, gets murked. Which is the craziest thing about the set. Because everyone gets murked by the end of the movie. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And in the yeah. other country. So you watch the whole movie for the first time, mm-hmm. and you're like, yo, this shit's crazy. Yo. And you're used to scary movies having a survivor. Right. So that they have another movie, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the origin, I think they, Did they have a. Movie. That's what yeah, I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, someone yeah, else yeah. goes down the whole thing. Yeah, like an idiot. <laughs> was that, oh yeah, there was a second one. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that where you're like, yo, what are you doing, bro? It yeah. was it was some it was, it was some second one. But while while I'm looking for that, uh, Dev, what, what what would you say is your Mount Rushmore? Uh, that's so hard because it's like. Uh, yeah, it was the second one. I would say I don't know if I can give you five because it's just so many. And I like horror films. I'm like I'm not a huge fan, but I like I like watching them. Like when it's a nice, like scary one. But I would say classics: Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, uh, what was that other shit? Nightmare on Elm Street. On um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that was like the newer one. That one was pretty. That one was pretty lit for me. 
um, Jeepers, like Jeepers Creepers, the first one. That's all my Mount Rushmore and um, Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. Oh, so you're going with the classics? See, I went with. But I'm not. That's what I'm saying. Those are my. That's no, no, you're right, baby. You're right. You're right. Those are like top, top notch. Me, I feel like they all know that. Yeah, Jeepers Creepers was like that shit shook me, and so did um, uh, Chucky. Yeah, it's Chucky, like, the first Chucky. Crazy. That was that was. So you guys that. are talking. I get that. But I was, we saw about Mount Rushmore. So <laughs> yeah, you're talking, I talking get about, that though. Um, those are the kid. Those are when you're a kid. No, right? When I was a kid, those, those are the ones. Yeah, those yeah. are I was most afraid of. Like, and I'm like, but they were great movies. Like, um, I don't know why. I, I, the, well, you you thought of the descent <laughs> because when I was a kid, though, scary movies didn't scare me. The descent was good. Oh, that, that's okay. That's your answer. There is only one scary movie as a kid that fucked me up, and that was The Leprechaun. But other than that, the rest of them I wasn't that scared of. Because I, I guess maybe I always thought they were... Nah, angry. Chucky I was shook of. Like, I was shook when I was younger. Because I, I was like, I think like 8, 9, maybe. Ten. When did that Chucky come out? Let's look at it. Uh, somewhere know. in the I, mid-80s, I want to say. I always looked at Chucky and was like, man, this shit ain't happening. I got you right now. I'm on the IMDb, brother. I got you right now. Just Google it. So, wait. So Just Google it. What? Google it. <laughs> Google it. What, um... What made you scared of the leprechaun? From 1988. The leprechaun? What made me scared of the leprechaun? Yeah. I don't know. That shit was just fucking scary, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, okay? So, yeah, when I was younger, right? So, when he was walking through the hood, like... Yeah, that's how I was like... No, 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 scared, no. Bro? No, that's not the first one. Leprechaun no, no, he knows. He's just saying it's not the second one. It's not the second one. It's Lepre- Leprechaun in the hood is a joke, right? That shit is stupid. <laughs> the first one, though. The first leprechaun that came out. Right? If you was a, if you was around my age, then it either came out in the movies and your parents took you to see it, or you saw it like me. It came out in the movies, and then one day one of your parents decided to rent it from Blockbuster, okay. and you got to watch it, uh, right? Okay. So I watched it in the crib. It's a whack ass two TV, mad dark, and I don't know why, but maybe because I had a shed in my yard at the time or whatever. That shit fucked me up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking like, yo, a leprechaun's fucking scary, bro. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yo, this nigga was wilding. Was. And I don't remember if I saw it. I can't remember because I was very young. I can't remember if that was the first scary movie I ever saw okay. or what. Because I feel like it was one of the first for me. Because I remember by the time Chucky and Chucky's Bride and all that stuff came out, I had already got it into my mind that these are not real. These are just scary movies. But it could have been that because Leprechaun had scared the shit out of me. I had to realize that that was fake. (laughs) (laughs) It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. It's It's just fake. Like you, you watch the bad tape, bro. You watch bad young Ed. You watch the bad tape. Don't worry. (laughs) Now Leprechaun was that shit though. Low key. Leprechaun was a so that means that means you were scared at the first couple of ones because the first one no the very first one I know which one it is though I don't question I know okay okay I know when he was in the little house on the ground and shit coming out fucking with that chicken shit you know what was in that right what a young Jennifer Aniston wow really yeah that's her wow I can't remember that because I was too focused on the leprechaun (laughs) 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 fucking the (laughs) other that's funny. Um, I'll give you that. Leprechaun was a little, a little nerve wracking until he's right. Until he went to the hood, hood and they gave him too many powers. <laughs> and you were just like, like, what is this? Yeah, your man, yo. Um, me and my boy Uni, shout out to Uni. You've, you've seen him, you've heard him on our show and stuff like that. Uh, we we also do a podcast called Welcome to My Hood Films, and we use that film. Because Leprechaun, we found out, had telekinesis, yeah. teleportation, hypnosis. <laughs> uh, he, he was he, he had a regenerative. He could heal. He could heal himself. Yeah. yeah. Levitation. <laughs> and if he recited his rhymes just right, it could kill you. It was just like, what? And he had super strength. <laughs> super strength. So he was yeah. just like, he yeah. Body like yeah he had so many different powers. By the time he got to the hood. And it was... And it was low key racist when you thought about it conspiracy wise. Because it was like, when he was fighting all these white people, he didn't have that many powers. 
He did it. And then the minute he was like, I'm gonna fight all these black people and all these colored people, all these Latin I'm people. I'm gonna smoke these niggas. I'm gonna smoke these niggas. <laughs> smoke these niggas. I got every niggas. power under the sun now. <laughs> they, got, they got no chance. They got no me. chance. Yo, and you know how I know I'm not bugging? <laughs> because he was so OP that he went to the hood twice. He went to the hood twice. He went once. Yeah. He went twice. Yeah. No other horror movie villain has went to the hood more than Leprechaun. I put money on that. Unless the movie was already set in the hood. Other than that, it was not going to Didn't Jason go to space twice? Yeah, but that's different. That's yeah, space. Yeah, Jason space. went to space twice. Nah, right? yeah, we'll take that. Once. Once. Nah, I know he went to space once. I'll take him going to space, but he didn't go to the hood twice. Nah, he went yeah. to Manhattan and fought like some random black yeah. dude that survived. <laughs> yeah. So I've yeah. got to find out. I don't out even know what hood. I mean, you know what? I want to go watch that because I want. We have. We're called Nerds in the Hood. I want to know what hood that nigga really went to. Uh, so the, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now and be real with you. It, both times he was in California. He was in Cali, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'll be honest with you. Uh, he was never in New York. He like, went to Compton. He was never in Florida. He was never in Houston. Both times, my man was in, <laughs> yeah, like either Compton or some fake Compton. Why? First movie, who he fought? California's own Ice yeah. T. Oh, yeah. wow. First movie. Oh, and yeah. Julio was in the movie. Julio for some was reason. <laughs> yeah, so weird. Yeah. Nigga pulled up for five seconds and said, Leprechaun. Leprechaun. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Wow, nigga, fuck that. And then the second movie, he, uh, it wasn't the actual guy, but it was it was Sticky Fingers and Laz Alonzo, aka Mother's Milk from The Boys, and he fought them too. But that movie was even worse because he fought people in barber shops, nail salons, yeah, anyway, like, parties. He killed a nigga with a bong in the second yeah. one. That was just all <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shit was bad racist. I can think about it. Yeah, the two level cards was racist. Yeah. Is and then it got it got rebooted years later. So Leprechaun that kind of was low key racist better. too. Like. He was dar- he was the first one. He was uh, dark skinned in Leprechaun. Wait, what? The first <laughs> wait. The first Leprechaun. He was a little light. He was a little dark. He was a little dark. Smoking <laughs> smoking these white people. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, hey, come on, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. What are you talking about? The first one, he was a black guy. All of a sudden, no, he, he was black. He was dark skin. He was dark skin. Oh, all right. Oh, you know why he might be right? Because I think when they wrote the hood movie, they was like, "Oh, you think he's black, huh?" All right, all right. Pull up. He was dark skin. He had a little color. He had a little tint. He had a little tint. It was like pull up. Pull up. Oh my god. He wasn't after no gold though. That's a fact. That's hilarious. You do know Leprechaun got rebooted a few years back, right? Nah, I didn't. Yeah, there's a reason why you didn't. Because it was made by WWE Films. Oh, hell no. Yeah, the Leprechaun was played by their very own Hornswoggle, who was a Leprechaun in the storylines. Yeah. Not nah, Hornswoggle. That's disrespectful to him. That's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> disrespectful to him. Disrespectful, bro. But, uh, damn. Yeah. So. I mean, that whole skit that Hornswoggle played was pretty disrespectful. But at least they gave him respect. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he, yeah. he used to come in there and fuck niggas up. He won a couple fights that made no sense, mm-hmm. but he got his respect. Yeah. So and he was gangster. He was gangster. That's true. He talked his shit. He was cool. He did talk his shit. Uh, but they were definitely making fun of uh, him being small. <laughs> I, I think if, if I put franchises, we, we, yeah, we put, like franchises, it didn't have to be a specific movie, but we put franchises on a Mount Rushmore. Mines, and I guess going off a of scare factor, just like Ant did. Uh, for me, it was Nightmare on Elm Street um, because just the thought of a guy. Just like invading your dreams and you don't have a way to get out of that was really scary. And then it was because he was targeting kids, which was also very yeah. uh, crazy. And my you dad, also saw Nightmare on Elm Street when it first came out, didn't you? Nah. <sighs> Not nah, that old. I'm not that old. Come yeah, on, don't no disrespect me. Hey, come on. He said you at least. First one came out in '84. I was born in '85. He said you at. He said you at least 40. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, I thought you saw it in the movies. Nah, I'm no, just, yeah. jerk. <laughs> I was too young to see any one of them in the movie. You at least in your 40s. Stop it, No, there was one that. Nah, you're 47. I think it was the third one. I I don't remember which kill this was. There was one where he, so he, um, okay, so there was one where the girl had a dream, weirdly, that she got caught in, like, a roach motel, and uh, those roach traps, yeah. and she couldn't move, because oh, you know how to the roaches, and then he fucking grabs the shit, and now he's, like, super big and shit, and then he crushes it with his bare hands. 
crushes her or her, her yeah, her, he crushes yeah. her or his bands. And it scared me because as a child, I grew up like any other hood household with roaches. <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, oh, what the hell is me? What the fuck? <laughs> like, your mind as a kid just warped. So you like, saw oh. yourself stepping on a roach and then you thought that nigga would step on you? Yeah. A lot of shit. That shit was scary, bro. And at the end of the first one, the girl is still in the dream. She dies. She's still in the dream. Facts. Yeah. So it's like, that really shocked me as a kid. And then a more, years later, another one that shocked me was, uh, the Blair Witch Project. Yeah. Because it was the one of the first found footage films I ever saw. Yeah. And it was really scary. I was oh, actually, actually, and I, damn, I don't mean to cut you off, but yeah, I, I, I gave you four. I was supposed to get five. Paranormal activity. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah, that one was a little bit. You get four? You get four? I, I only gave two. Four. Well, Mount Rushmore is usually four. Oh, four. So I you, get, you only let me give two. You chose you to chose give two. two. And then you said Leprechauns. You gave three, technically. But Paranormal Activity definitely need to be up there. Because I know when that shit came out, I thought that shit was real, son. Niggas didn't even correct me. That Paranormal Activity. You said I only got two. Nah, I I thought two. I I didn't think. I I, I, never mind. I I didn't tell you two, Max. I said about worst one. You said I only got two. Nah, nah, my bad, my bad. Do you have a fourth one? If you want to say a fourth one. I mean, you guys did say two more. Blair Witch Project was definitely one that fucked me up. Yeah. It, it, it had me for a little while scared of the woods. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, that's yeah. I, <laughs> like I never cared to go in the woods, but after that movie, I didn't want to go in the woods. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a Blair fair. Witch Project was uh, yo, but then the other side one is Paranormal Activity. Yeah. Funny funny fact about Paranormal Activity. Okay. Paranormal Activity was made with a fifty five thousand dollar budget. Yeah. Oof. A dude made it with a fifty five thousand dollar budget. A home camera. Home he camera. made nineteen million dollars. Yeah. And then spun, spun that shit off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spun that shit off. <laughs> Nigga, how many movies they came out with Paranormal like Activity? Four or five? Yeah. 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 That shit still and yeah. I think it's probably still in the And world. all it was, bro, and he, I, I read a description about like the whole situation. All he wanted to do was play on the factor of things that happened to you. Once you went to sleep. Once you're by yourself, mm. though. Yeah. Or when you're by yourself. Like. Yeah, and when you, yeah, yeah, when you when you were alone or by your sleep, when you went to sleep. Because most of the stuff, most of the scary stuff you remember in Paranormal Activity happened when they turned off the lights and they were in the room. Mm. The other stuff was just stupid stuff, like a noise, something like that. But not just you walking into dark areas. You're like, yo, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah, area. yeah. It was just, it was just, it was just a, it was a mind fuck. It was, it was, it was a, a mind fuck. Yeah. With that little money fun. and it fucked me out. Congrats because, to that guy. Because how they promoted it too, mm-hmm. they made it seem like it was some like new footage, like footage. Like they really leaned into the fact that oh, this could possibly be real type yep. shit. That's you true. know, so after like you know, actually they're like oh, it's not real. Like, but they he he did that shit crazy. I remember after a while I went home, I was like, yo, son, I don't even want to go in my house. Yeah, we went in the house. It was mad shook. Just mad shook, right? Yeah, I, that was me. I was just sitting there like, yo, I'm I'm not rocking with this. I can't rock with this right now. Um, yo, we, we pretty much went over all the ones that really fucked me up. Because I can't even think of any one. And that's fine, which is why uh, we already kind of said one franchise. But is there a movie, as a horror movie, do you feel is so trash, it disrespects the horror movie genre? Just like how you said, like, Leprechaun on the Hood was, like, disrespectful. Like, is there another... I know I'm putting you on the spot with this, but is there another one in your heart that you're like, why did they make this? Because for me... I'm not going to say this was DB all, but it was one of them. I know you said the first one, but I got to say Jeepers Creepers True was not living up to the first one. I know. That's why when you said Jeepers, oh, Jeepers, Jeepers I said, really? <laughs> Jeepers Creepers, the first really one. really threw me off, though. What are you talking about? Jeepers <laughs> Creepers was crazy. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers, I don't know. It was never scary to me. That wasn't scary to you? You bugging. <laughs> The only it was like it was it was to me it always was like not the second these one. These niggas wanted, wanted to get scared, bro. The first one, first one, you wanted to get scared. The second one, and like, then what? anyone who was the real, was, anyone who was real, they went the and tested that. They went and tested it. It was entertaining, but it was just like what, what, yeah. why, why are y'all doing this, bro? Yeah, the first one. And then for me, so there's there's a, there's also a low key one I have to say is a sleeper because it's on the borderline of. It, it, it's not whack, but it's the fact that they made two sequels that soured its legacy. And that's the the Hood classic, Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood was a low-key, scary film. Because it was the, the little black puppets, a.k.a. the little nigglets. It was the kid that had the voodoo powers, and he turned his dad, like... He kind of like turned his dad like fucked up and shit or whatever, or his stepdad or whatever. I kind of remember that shit. Yeah, and then to find out that they were in hell the whole time, it was just like, yo, as a black man, I was shook. A white person probably like, yeah, that's where they belong. I don't know. I'm not dissing white people. 
what I am saying is that I was shook. I, I was so shook that to find out they made a sequel and the sequels were not that good really upset me. It, yeah, it soured the legacy. That's always a sequel, though. Yeah, yeah that's always they sequel, keep pumping though. it. Like, every, to me, I don't think there is a film franchise in horror, maybe in all franchises, but I don't think there's one, especially in horror, that has, like, an almost perfect record. I don't think there's nah, one like because, that. and that's because, okay, so I feel like, I, feel, I, I agree with you on that, because okay. that's because I feel horror movies... Is a scare factor, right? So it, it's it's a mental thing, especially when it's a movie, right? So you got to, you're, they're producing this product that you're going to watch that somehow has to get into your brain and trigger fear, right? The factor of fear while you're just sitting down, right? All right, cool. Once you watch it two times, the fear becomes less and less. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they, they lose you. So it becomes harder for them to keep producing that fair factor. And it's like, all right, you know. So we all adapt to it. Some people, they're not scared by shit. That's why they don't care about any horror movie. They're all jokes, right? You mm-hmm. know, some people, um, certain scary movies affect them. Like uh, you said, Elm, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street affected you. Nightmare on Elm Street affected me a little bit, mm-hmm. but then it stopped affecting me because I knew there was no way this thing could get in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> like, until someone does, and then you know, he's, I know, like, he's like, Oh, shit, it's great. Like, you know, we know Jason wasn't real, Jason was dope, it was scary, but Jason was was not real. Like, we know it's not real, right? So, yeah, eventually you get older. I get what yeah, you're saying, you know, the older saying? you get, the more you're like, eh. Yeah, yeah, or even when you well, first you know, watch Jason them. was based on a true story. I mean, I'm, I'm, I believe that yeah. some shit yeah. in Europe. In oh, lake. Oh, yeah. lake, we good. Oh, Lake Crystal, yeah. Crystal Lake. It was they had it, was, it was happened <laughs> yeah. at a specific lake, and it was like, based on that shit. But no, no my first, first horror movie, I think it was called um, uh, what's the one? Cabin in the Woods. You think that's the worst? That's one of my. I think it's. Oh, that's one of your worst. Okay, that's fair. That's, that's fair. fair. <laughs> that's the one where they go and they have to pick a thing in the basement and it activates. We had a horror. We had a trivia question about this. Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, it's Cabin in the Woods, then, right? Okay. Where the maintenance yeah. team was. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so yeah, and then you're they not had wrong. to get. Wrong. Yeah, that one is so stupid, bro. It was. I was like, yo. First off, I don't even get the point of why they even broke into the lab. And all the aliens <laughs> came out. <laughs> like, like, I never understood that part. <laughs> like, you were already getting traumatized yeah. on land. Uh, I believe I told you about this film. Yeah, we did touch upon this before. Me, uh, me and Eight Song saw this film. Uh, it was um, oh, what was the one? And it had Paris Hilton in it, and it and it was so bad. And Prom night. No, no, no. We Prom Night doesn't have Paris. No, no. Paris we, uh, it was Prom the, was the wax uh, something. The wax. Oh, wa- oh uh, wax. I forgot the name of it. Oh, I, uh, I don't want to blank it on the name. No, no, don't worry. I got y'all. I got y'all. Not the wax. Not the wax. Crying no, no, no. is not extensive, so no, I can no. easily go back really wax, fast. Wax something. Yeah. But what I remember was, I remember I told you guys, uh, well, Debbie wasn't on our show just yet, but... I House of Wax. There we go. Yeah. So I said, oh, I said House of Wax. It's okay. It's Close way. enough. So I I remember seeing the film and choosing not to go see episode three over this film, and I was so mad because I was like, yo, I should have just saw episode three. Yeah, this yeah, movie was so bad. Smoking crack. It was First so off, bad. The minute I saw Paris Hilton's name on anything, I knew it was gonna be bad. Yeah. No, but <laughs> the funny part was it was because we got tricked into believing there was one part that was good, and it was. It was just a part where it was a girl. She was like stuck under like a, a vent or something, trying to get out, and the killer was standing above her. <laughs> but then, like her friend was looking for her. She was like, <coughs> she was like, oh, my friend's missing. I don't know my friends. I have you seen my friend?" So then the killer was like, "Uh, nah, I don't think I've seen your friend." And then she's like, ah, ah, ah. and he's like, "Uh, could you excuse me a second? I gotta tie my shoe." And he leans down. He goes, "Fuck up!" And just clips off her finger. With like some type of like a screw, a toe or her finger. Her finger. He clips off her finger, and then she's like, ah! and then she literally sees her fingers go. All right, I'm gonna shut the. <laughs> <laughs> the kid was like, yeah, you better shut your dumb ass up. And I was just like, what? I'm gonna say that shit in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, and I was I mad because I was like, yo, I, I paid money to see this one part, and that was it. I was like, this is pretty stupid to me. 
and you know we're we're in a generation where there's more movies and some of them are good and some of them are bad in terms of uh do you um, think scary movies are getting better now or worse Mm, that's the real question. Uh, it also depends on what you grew, what you grew up on, what you. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you that, and I got another question. <laughs> all right, so do you think they're getting better or worse? I would say. All right, well, actually, hold on. Okay. Right, let's ask the other question first. Oh, okay. What, what type of movie is your scare factor? Like, do you like slashers or gore movies or suspenseful thrillers? Like, which one is the one that fucks you up? I need the jumpers. The jumper, jump scare. Yeah. So Some shit that pops out out of yeah, nowhere. Yeah, I need the jumpers. Ah. Gore is uh, it's whatever because that that could be an action. Yeah, because gore gore and jump scares yeah, are usually yeah, not in the same, same realm. Film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It depends on how they do the jump scares because sometimes they're really predictable. I'm like, true, true, oh, something. True. I'm like, oh, something's about to happen. Nigga about to pop yeah. up. It's like you know, you expect it. Well, so yeah. what about you? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, similar to jump scares, but I like a suspenseful thriller, kind of like a. Uh, like a who done it, but it's like a serial killer type shit, like you know, and it's just mad gory, and you just start trying to figure out, damn, who's the killer type shit. That's why. Um, so that's like a that's like a, sla- a slasher thriller. Yeah, slasher thriller, because yeah. there's a, there's like a usually a beast killer who's like popping up, smoking one by one, bouncing. They don't know where this thing is at. So that's Jason. Those like things. I know I don't know if we've Alien. seen The Watcher. On Netflix, this new no, show. No, 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 so no, like, no, so like that's it's kind of like that. It's kind of like a suspenseful like, like who like who is it type shit. But I definitely recommend watching that that show. I'm only like three episodes in, and I'm like, oh, this shit type like it's not like it's creepy. Like, it, and it's not like a scary movie. I mean, I'm in a scary uh, series, but I'm like, but it's just like real creepy type shit. It's like, yo, what the fuck is happening? Like, you don't know like who's. Who's a killer? Who's yeah, that's a demonic killer. type shit? Like that shit on Netflix is fine. Definitely go check. That's out. a suspense and thriller. Yeah, My, I'm on the same page with you on that in a little bit. I like, I like thrillers. Like I like the I like movies, scary movies that, uh, like you you see the ones I said. I said Descent and As Below and Above. They're, those are both movies where you know something is haunting these niggas, and they're fucking with them, but you're not really seeing it. Did, it's just a lot of there's a lot of suspense there's a lot of moments where there's a calm down and then out of nowhere something kind of happens and they're just like moving along but you don't really see what's happening you know what I'm saying and then eventually you do that the movie obviously has to show you something happened so like, you might see someone die here and someone die there but the whole time just like oh shit what the fuck what the fuck is happening like what is really going on here so um, with that being said uh, I asked you guys uh, what yeah. was what, is it uh, getting better or worse. No so shit. now that you know what's the ones you're looking for, in the ones you are looking for, has it been getting better or worse? It's to me, there's no there's no franchises anymore. There's all just once in a while there'll be one that's like, wow, there's, this is really good. There's not a franchise. What are you talking about? Not you know what I mean? Movie, like sequel, 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 sequel. I, I, I I says there was five Nightmare on Elm Streets, and you wanted to keep going back. To I haven't. See Freddy we, die. we haven't. And aren't and and yeah, the, the conjuring. The conjuring is like fucking five. Yeah, he's right. In. They have the conjuring. They have the in, in city. In, the, in, in, what is yeah, this? They all play off like those are little franchises. Right? I, I guess because, like I said, where I came. Annabelle was running for a while. I don't know. They they just aren't as talked about as. So you would say that it's going down. But I'm not. No, I'm just I'm, saying. I'm saying that there's franchises out there. Are they good enough? Oh, that's. I'll give you that. Yeah. I won't say that they're going down. I'll just say that. It doesn't have the. Ah. There was a golden age. There was a golden age of horror films during the eighties and the nineties where everybody wanted to go see Chucky, Freddy, Jason, you know. And those days aren't as strong as they used to be because everybody's vibe is like, I'm either gonna see it now or I'm not gonna see it. I'm not gonna care about it. So, do the golden age is definitely dead. Yeah. But horror movies are pushing a lot more. These golden age had to walk through these horror films could run faster. So they are pushing more, but they just, I don't know. Maybe it's me. They're just not, they, I'm, maybe I'm horror movie out. No, I, I agree with you, though. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to say you're wrong. Um, I feel like maybe, it could be maybe that where, like I said, the fair factor of us has mm-hmm. been um, eliminated yeah. and extinguished and brought down to so little that it doesn't really affect us anymore. We already know what to expect from scary movies, right? right. But at the same time, the movies that I have watched. Now, I'm not going to say I'm a horror movie junkie, mm-hmm. but the movies I have watched haven't been hitting like that. They happen. They just happen. 
but <laughs> they haven't <laughs> hit like that. So it's just like, all right. You know, there's other people that watch other horror movies. Like one of my boy D, shout out to D. He watches a lot of horror movies and he be showing me shit from other countries and shit like that. And some of them be scary as fuck. I'm not going to hold you. They do be pretty kind of scary. But, like, if he wasn't into that, it's not mainstream stuff. Like, I wouldn't even know about the movie. So, you know, have they been missing? I think they have been missing. Have Do they have franchises? They do have a couple franchises. Um, the Conjuring definitely as one of them. The first one was good. But then that was it. <laughs> like, Yeah, that's true. I'll give you that. Um, okay. Dev, you got any final thoughts? I mean, I, again, um, I don't really look for it. I like it when they come out. Do I think they're declining? I mean, it's different eras where you like certain shit. You like to look for certain shit. So, who knows? I mean, I always find maybe something that might be scary. But honestly, I'm finding them more on series than I am in movies. So, mm, so I like that. I mean, we do live in a series world now. so Yeah, that is true. And, and one thing we could all agree on is that... Uh, Leprechaun in the hood sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, low key though, if you listen to this episode, there is a Leprechaun trivia question that kind of talks about what we just talked about. But I'm not going to tell you the question. <laughs> no, for real though. I'm I not made, mad at that. I, I, made, I made the question and then we said so much stuff. I was like, oh shit. My, the answer to my question is in all of this. <laughs> <laughs> that, that lets us know if somebody comes up to us and goes, y'all saw y'all episode, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it and then I went to the thing and we was in here. Yeah, yeah. So I'll try to get this out as quick as possible so nobody be like, yo, I saw that shit like on Thursday. Thursday. Where we out niggas that day? <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cap it here, folks. That is uh our episode 89. We got 10 more episodes to we a hundred. Yeah, we got 10. Go, we gotta yeah. throw a party for that. And then we can say we did a hundred episodes. And a hundred rabbit trolls. He bugs. He bugs. Uh, we just got to do one more thing before we go. Aunt, could you please, uh, with the tequila, please? Oh, yeah. So we must uh, have a quick moment of silence. We didn't do a lot of sports talking. We did not. Uh, but we do want to shout out the New York Yankees. Who fought valiantly yesterday, but yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. not enough. Yeah, yesterday they fought valiantly to save the their three. season. Uh, after after half of the Bronx was torn apart by New Yorkers and New York Yankee fans, Fuck, yo, just last week, I can't believe how many Mets fans is talking shit. Like, oh, they are talking hell of shit. We got we got friends. <laughs> yeah, we got friends. I'm talking shit. They, yeah. they, they they was hitting us up this morning talking yeah. wild shit. Me what was a couple of my boys just posted that video of, of 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 everyone in the Bronx yelling, Houston, Houston. Bro. And I was just like, yeah. I knew that shit was going to come back. And they, yelled, the ass too. they yelled Yanks in seven before the game even ended. Yeah. It was know. like third. But you know where that started, though. We already all know where that happened. The Phoenix Suns run. Oh, but, but Suns That's why people... Sons of Four started that little joke. Oh, Yanks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get what you're saying, but... It, every I, team, you can say it for any team, not just the Yanks. You could, but... but that, people just be ODing now. But that guy washed the guy and then still watched his team go to the finals. So that's different. Yeah. He, he always... Gonna, if they won the chip, that guy would have been a fucking man. But, you know, hey, he got as close as he could. Anyway, uh, again, as New York fans, Jets won yesterday. Unfortunately, we lost their running back, but like we just said earlier, they got a new one to hold them down for the rest of the season. Giants won uh, yesterday, and uh, the Knicks won on Friday. Yep. So we, you know, we're and, currently watching and the Nets, right yeah, we're watching them right now. The Nets won on Friday as well, but our Yankees was one step closer to the World Series, and we blew it again. And now we gotta watch the Astros and the Phillies, two teams we care not bro, about. I can't believe it. Don't niggas, in, don't niggas in Houston is cheating, bro. I believe I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I feel like my this man. Someone brought this to my attention. This man Verlander. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we is go. throwing heat. It sounds. Like I'm a hate. I don't care. I'm gonna say it's hate. I don't give a fuck. They, that, it don't make sense that this man is 38. My son is throwing heat after yeah. heat ball. And mind you, this nigga had Tommy John surgery. Yo, why can't why this nigga had why Tommy, can't my nigga just be a good all star? <laughs> that's I'm a, I'm that's a fine. Fan. 
But that's cool. fun. That was real salt. Right? But at the age, <laughs> at the age of no, I'm kidding. I it might be so. I never see a nigga come and say it might be so. You salt. being too much of a professional baseball player nah, to me, bro. It's talk about you see how pitchers age. I know that at the age of thirty eight, when when my boy, what I was, yeah, what I was, listen, listen. <laughs> Listen to the damn theory, yo. It might be a conspiracy. I don't care. But I'm going to find some type of excuse, and this is going to make some kind of sense. So my boys was like, yo, at the age of 38, you know, you're not some, as a pitcher, and you have that type of surgery, you're supposed to pitch for location. So, like, you do a lot of chicory. You do a lot of curveballs, yeah. um, change up, things like that. So but my saying. son is at 38 with major surgery, still throwing 100 plus, yep. like 20 straight pitches, 20, 30 straight pitches, throwing but heat, bro. I never see anybody say that about Tom Brady and how elite he is at his throwing. He's not throwing a hundred mile of ball, yeah. but he's ball. accurate and he's a f- elite. But that, that's, that's elite. That's a being throwing, elite. And he's that's not, being wait, elite. Wait, he's not throwing it every play. He's not throwing it every play. You're right. You're right. Yeah. He's not throwing the Baseball ball. Baseball players are not throwing every play. They he's, throw. They throw. I'm talking about pitchers. I'm talking I mean, about I mean, pitchers. Yeah, baseball players. The pitcher only pitches. Until they get the He's using his them. arm all the time. Niggas throw a hundred times. I mean, Tom Brady doesn't it. even take a hundred of throw attempts. He's in not that throwing hundred miles an hour. And he's not he's throwing hundred miles an hour. That's what I'm saying. Right. So that's totally he's different. He's throwing a, a, a lot of yardage, but he's not throwing hundred yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. I, and he's not doing it. And he's not doing it. Could it, just, could, it be, yeah. could it be that we just watching the one of the best pitchers of all time? It's not true though. You guys at the age, that. bro. I'm just talking know. about. Stop. I'm just talking about conspiracy. Yo, I'm talking I'm about not, conspiracy. I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just. Saying. I'm just saying it's a little fishy. Yo, that my man is so old. That, too, that my man is so old. <laughs> pitching a hundred plus. I love the Yankees too, but this is nah. I'm a, I don't really care. I don't care. Yeah. I gotta find so him wait, somewhere. How could he? How could he be? How could he be cheating? Steroids? You'll find a way. Steroids? That's what I said. Steroids. I mean, you, some in performance. Steroids? Did you not see the, hands. Did you not see the best game? My son's not. He stopped the pitcher. Was like, oh, you see it is. No, yeah. but 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 he's saying that his shoulder abilities is too OD right now for it to make sense after surgery. For after so surgery, he's calling shenanigans. But we'll, we'll see one day. We don't know. Maybe. I'm just right. saying. Them niggas cheated once. I'm pretty sure they cheat again. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's all I got. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. However, every Yankee fan. But anyway, that. every Yankee fan is upset. Let's go Philly Astros. Let's go Phillies. Uh, the Phillies are the lesser two evils. So me and Dad, I take Anderson, Phillies because fuck you, Mets fans, Dad. We talking yes. shit. So I hope the Phillies. Win. So this is in honor of the Yankees to another historic season down the drain. Yankee. Our right, judge, judge did go. Yeah, right, he up. He, for all those home runs you've been doing all season, you ain't show up like you're supposed to. I don't care what anybody. Yo, says. he's not a Yankee fan, so I ain't saying that. That's on him. I don't believe that, Aaron Judge. I love what you he's did. Mad that Carolina like, don't got a baseball. I team. love the Yankees, bro, and I watch a lot. I watch them all the time, bro. Uh, Aaron Judge. But you're not a fan. You don't appreciate. You, what you, you mean? Appreciate. I appreciate what he did, you're a but I'm a playoff. I'm a playoff player, and when you go to the playoffs and it's the mm-hmm. and you're playing against Houston and you're down two already. You gotta show up. I'm not saying that you need to be the savior, but you gotta start the rally. The team, you gotta the show team, up. The team was he put the team on his back. He so did. He it did. was up to everybody else. I can't ask him to carry the team through All the, the season, time. through yeah. the season into the playoffs. It'll be nice, but he got us there. If you didn't get it, if if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have gotten there. You're right. You're and the right. rest of the team had to had to I step feel up. Like he was cold. The pitching, the pitching. But it's, I mean, that's a fact. That could be that be saying, but. There's a lot of there's a lot of blame to go around, and it's not on Judge. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you that Judge is the last one to get any type of blame. For all you Yankee fans out there, please excuse Ant's opinions. He's just wow. he's just a little Why upset because my his favorite football team just gave away their star player. I don't right. care and about the star football player. Team. Got blown out the second the next Sunday. <laughs> anyway, I know you don't care. We just give you shit. Um, but yeah. think, them niggas are one in five, from what I understand. I don't even watch their games. Actually, too, they beat the Bucks. They whooped the Bucks. Yeah, yeah. damn! Yeah, I, I, was I, I shocked the world. I didn't watch. I didn't watch anyone. Watch any they shocked the, the world. Yeah, I watched the, the backup QB games, so and backup amazing. running backs, bro. Wow, they beat them. Anyway. I, I missed all the one o'clock games. Those are the games. Those are the trap. Like that's a trap game, crazy. That yeah. they would lose that. Yeah, the Bucks has been on some crazy shit though, because that's two games in a row. They oh play. yeah, they're, they're yeah. having some trouble. They're having. Yeah. So, but anyway, mind you, RP the Yankees. Yeah, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care because. I've been out of baseball. This is a football town right now. Mm-hmm. And the Giants are six and one and the Jets are five and two. I thought I'd never see the day. I'm gonna tell you that I'd never see the day 
It is Monday, and it is Victory Monday for us. We have to celebrate. Yeah, so I think it's only right to have a quick moment of silence for the Yankees with the song that was played heavily when they won the last championship in 2009. Why did you do that? So here we go. Why did you do that? Man, you don't have to do this. I actually hate this song. Not that I hate this song. It's a beautiful song, but I just think that it got played out. I hate that song. Just stop playing it right now. <laughs> Man, I hate that you gonna play anything? I would have French and Nacho over that. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, we're gonna catch you guys. If you're gonna join us Wednesday, amazing, we hope to see you Wednesday. We hope to see you Wednesday for our horror movie trivia. Part two, where we touch it on the OG classics, just like Ann said, the Leprechauns, the Chainsaw Massacres, the Freddies, the Jasons, the Chuckies, and all that more. Factory. From 2000, from be- before 2000. All of them. So no, all of them. Just, now, it's just any horror movie. He <laughs> said it because yeah. Dev messed it up. So it's just any horror movie we want now. This is the end, bro. This is the end. Come this through, the end. win yeah. some prizes, and then we got free candy, and then keep all coming that. back. Yeah, all that. We got a lot of prizes, a lot of treats, so be ready for that. Um, Like we said, it's going down this Wednesday, 8. 30 new start time 8 30 p.m at buddha beer bar located in new york city in washington heights if you want to know where that's located make sure you follow them on ig and follow us on ig as well at n-e-r-d-z-i-n-t-h-e-h-o-o-d to see uh when we promote our shows at buddha beer bar when we show clips of our show clips of the live events and our world famous anime rap intros where we bring in AMVs back, baby. But in the meantime, in between time, we're gonna catch you next week. But please come through to Buddha Beer Bar this Wednesday because you have a chance to win some prizes and some candy, just like Ant said. In fact, in the meantime, between time, it's your boy Mar Black and McGee. Young Dad. And we are out of here, people. Nerds in the hood. Peace. Peace.